Hello everyone, my name is Michael and I switched to Unreal a year ago after five years of Unity. So this video is mostly to tell you why I did the switch, uh, my feedback about it, and the reason I did it is mostly because uh, a lot of developers know that I did the switch and they've been asking me why did I do the switch and what was my feedback about it and where to start and so on and they wanted a co comparison about how it is to work on Unreal versus Unity. So if... But first, like and subscribe and leave a comment on what kind of video you would like to see in the future and I'll, I'll be happy to cover that in future video. And please take a moment to wishlist my game Frontier of Madness. It's a multiplayer sandbox that I'm currently building on Unreal and will be released uh, uh, later this year. Every wish list count and really help a lot. So my first impression about Unreal and the thing that impressed me the most is how much they give you uh, right, off, right out of the box. Uh, I remember my first game on Unity was Brindfall and Brindfall was a um, multiplayer sandbox open world and you know, you had to take care about the optimization. I had to do my own streaming system. Uh, I bought VSP, uh, Vegetation Studio Pro, to do all my vegetation system. And then I have to do my gathering system above it and the cursor system and so on. And there's a lot of mechanic that I had either to get some asset or build those mechanic myself. And when I switched to Unreal, I realized how how much there, there, there's some stuff they give you right out of the box. So uh, about the streaming system, I had to do an open world. So the first thing that I've looked on Unreal was how to do a streaming system and which asset was good for it. Well, it's out of the box. So it's already come with the engine. You don't really have to worry about it. You can use it easily. But in that case, another thing that I realized is that the Terran system is much more optimized compared to Unity. So this is mostly a five kilometer map and I don't even need to use a streaming system. I could, but I don't need to do it at all. So it's very, very simple for that. And I don't have to, to get back to it. And then there's the vegetation system. Uh, you don't see very far because my game is in top down, but uh, Unity uh, Unreal give you out of the box a procedural vegetation system. You don't have to buy something like VSP or anything like that. Uh, it's all out of the box. Uh, it's use uh, GPU instancing and so on. And since it's it's straight from the engine, you have a lot of documentation and also YouTubers. Uh, uh, with video that explain you how everything work and it's very easy to add a gathering system on it and so on so you don't have to buy anything and it's all out of the, the box so in a few days uh, I've managed it to to do all my visual like this also one other thing uh, since I, I've built some uh, game that rely a lot on a lot of content uh, like an RPG and so on Something that really impressed me is that instead of doing some scriptable object to do all my item and stuff like that, in Unreal, you have a database system. So in my case, I just go into it and then I have all my data in there. You can have the structure of your data, but let's say I'm going to look for some resources like the wood and so on. So this system is straight from Unreal. Uh, it also works with Google uh, Google Sheet. So you can fill them straight on, on a Google Sheet and then create your data inside Unreal. But in that case, we have the wood, uh, the visual that comes with it, rarity, and you can see I can fill all the information I need. And this is cool because let's say I want to drop an item in the game. All I have to do is to create one item, which I call drop item. And it's there. It's like my prefab for every object in the game. And all I need is the name of the object and the quantity. So 
if I go into my detail, this is my drop item. For now, it is wood, but I could say uh, it's coal now, and you see the, visual, the visuals change. And you could have 10, 10 coal instead of one. So when I do um, a loot system, or I drop some item, or uh, I cut a tree and I want some wood to drop, all I have to do is to use my drop item and say, hey, it will be wood, and then I want five of them. And that's it, it's done. So that's very simple for that. There's also the networking system. I want that to, uh, in my next game to be multiplayer. And on Unity, I've tested the fishnet, um, uh, net code, and so on. I did some testing and I wasn't very satisfied with the process. It's especially because, you know, I had Brainfall done already and I was looking to network Brainfall instead. And networking a finished game is really a lot of work. So that, that's what made me curious to look at Unreal uh, at first. And then I've learned about the replication system of Unreal, which make it so much easier to network a game. So this is just a quick example. Uh, if I want to teleport the player in a networked game, I need to do it through the server and it's not client side. All I have to do is to replicate, run on server. I can also do multi multicast to do it on both the client and the server. And then I tell the location of the teleport and that's it. And I don't know if I will have access there. But you have a da drag and drop system too. So I remember in Unity you had to kind of do your drag and drop system and all and it's all built in inside Unreal. So those are some small detail that's just you're used to do it yourself on Unity, but you don't have to. The the engine give it to you out of the box. And I think that kind of goes with, you know, Unreal and the way they monetize their engine. They make money when you do. So what they want to do is to make sure you can make money with your game. They give you as much as they can so you can focus on developing your game and, and not the engine. This is one of the weaknesses that I felt with Unity is that I had to always, you know, build every system myself before I can start to work on the core of the game and so on. Uh, some other advantage that, I, that I've seen over time is that Unreal always have access to the latest tech um, in the field. Like Unity, I think they are still stuck with uh, FSR 1.0. And on Unreal, out of the box, I have FSR 2.0. And I know that FSR 3.0 will, will come soon too. So those are free FPS that, that I will get. Um, also, I know another thing that I really like is how the, the game is structured for you. So I'll just show you something. I have here my default pawn, which, which is the, the player character. So this is basically in my case, this player. So I just set it inside the, this area and then the engine know that this would be the player. And then I have my UI class where I do all my UI logic and that's it. Uh, my controller, so of course it's the controller and it will communicate with the networking. And then you have the state, which is the, the state of the, the, the player, uh, the naming and stuff like that. And then you have this game instance. I will just delete everything before I forget it. This game instance is something that follows you from uh, a scene to another, like the main menu to uh, the, the, the main playing area. So this is where I do all the logic that, that need to be kept between the, the scenes. So all the multiplayer logic, create a server, um, the loading screen, and then the name of the player and stuff like that. So it's built in and very easy to use and I, I can store some data in it. So that's very simple. Uh, something that I really liked was the animation system. I will not really go in depth into it, but uh, let me show you something really cool about it.
I will go into one of my ability, which I know will be inside my ability here. Meta ability, and just get the animation. So I remember in Unity, you, you have to create some event and you use those event to call the sound, the start the collision and stuff like that. Um, in Unreal, of course, you can do the same thing, but the system is a bit more um, extended compared to Unity. In that case, I can attack multiple times and I have my combo windows there. So if I click another time, inside that, that time, it will start the second animation. And here, the act collision, this is where I activate the collision of the attack. So if I go slowly, you can see the collision start here, and it will end here. So this is very easy to add. You can just do it, and then add notify, and then I add whatever I need. And here you can see that the next one is a play sound. I can add some particle effects straight into the animation. And the play sound is right here. So it's when the, the whoosh will start mostly. So I just create a queue. A queue is like a bank of sound with some behavior inside it. And I add it to the attack. So if we, if we go into the, the audio system, I go inside the queue. So those are multiple sound. And I say, hey, Unreal, choose one of those sounds randomly. And you have the ponderation there. And then I had a little pitch minimum, maximum, volume, and so on to add some variation. And this is my cue for attacking. I did the same for the footstep system. So I had like 10 sound on the grass and I had some variation in it. And that's it. This is my cue for walking on the grass and on the dirt and so on. It's very easy, simple, and you can really, you re really have a lot of possibilities in there. It's very easy. I like it. And that's mostly it. Another amazing thing is the behavior tree. I remember that in Unity, you have to buy another asset to get access to this kind of feature. And on Unreal, it's built in. So you can do uh, the logic of your AI straight with what Unreal gave you out of the box. You don't have to pay anything else. It's free. And since uh, it came from Unreal, you also have a lot of documentation and videos online that shows you how to do it and do everything you want. Um, another thing that I've seen that is very cool, since you know the networking is built in into the engine, there's also some tools that come with it. So if I want to open the game with two, two player instead, and I want this screen to be the listen server, I can just leave it that way and say two, and then if I hit play, it will take a time to load because I will load it two time. But basically, I will have two screen. Let's give it a second. Yeah, with my other player right there, name. And I'll just. There we go. And you see it's all networked. So it's very easy and it simulates a multiplayer game. So I can know if my networking is working or not. Very easily. And lastly, I think uh, it's worth to talk about uh, GAS, the game playability system. Uh, Unreal is known for the Fortnite and their combat system. And you know all the logic of the combat system, they call it GAS, the game playability system, and it's free. You have access to it and you can use it for your own combat network at combat system. This is what I do currently with uh, Frontier of Madness. So basically all the cooldown, the damage, the uh, HP, um, giving the ability to someone and in my case, the ability are tied to the weapon you have in hand. So if you have a, 
a knife you will have melee attack only and then if you use a gun you will shoot and reload and stuff like that so it's all run by the gameplay ability system and I didn't add to code all this um, this system all I had to do is to use all their gameplay system and adapt it to, to my need so it's just a short video to give you some feedback on what I've learned when using Unreal and what was my feeling about it the reason I did it is because uh, with the uh, the Unreal fia fiasco that you pay per download and stuff like that uh, I think they really broke the trust with the the developers and a lot of the of dev have been uh, talking to me about this so I thought maybe it was a time to just do a quick video about it uh, if you like it please uh, write in the comment what you think about it what I could change and maybe what kind of video I could do next and uh, I'll be sure to, to do some follow up about it and share about my experience and also I was thinking that maybe I could do some video uh, to compare Unity versus Unreal on some feature like doing a feature on, on Unity and then do it again on Unreal so you can kind of transfer your knowledge uh, in a more easier way so feel free to give some feedback what do you think and have a great day